All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, Nelson Mandela Bay, that's where we're broadcasting from. That's where you're seeing these magnificent visuals coming from the coastline here. Isn't it just magnificent in Port Elizabeth? That's where we are. The happy and windy city. Well, I'll tell you what, the wind is behaving. Well, for this particular moment, it's behaving. I think uh, from one minute to the next, you never really know. Well, the focus this morning is on women and Africa to Africa Women's Conference. That's what we're covering here. The president was here addressing the conference, the opening of the conference on International Women's Day that of course is held annually around the world on the 8th of March, that of course being Sunday, having big messages to give to the women of South Africa and the women of Africa because this conference is aimed at bringing decision makers from around the con continent together and to share ideas as to how to better the lives of the women of this continent and uh, also sharing ideas from a lot of other countries like India like China, uh, Brazil, you name it, and the UK also being represented here. Well, some of the incredible women that uh, have already presented here at the conference uh, include the lady I'm about to speak to now. And this lady was focusing in on economic empowerment. Madeleine Nkuno is a leader in women's strategic development on a number of platforms, including the Department of Trade and Industry. Madeleine, good to have you on the program. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you so much, Leanne. The reality is, and it's as simple as this, unless we have economic empowerment of women, we will never have equality. We will never reach any millennium goal. We will never reach that place we need to be as a, as a gender to, to, to be empowered for ourselves. Uh, being stable with money is what we need. How do we go about doing that? Well, that's quite a challenging question, and I think that's what we, we are actually working toward. Let me start by saying first that um, Leading Women of Africa, which is, uh, has been created as a pan-African um, uh, network that promotes um, regional integration of um, African women, is actually to, uh, working toward um, accessing business opportunities in Africa. Um, economic empowerment of women, as we know it, is not going to happen, happen in isolation. It needs a concerted effort, both from government, from uh, corporate sector, and women themselves. Women need to be put at the center of economic development of this continent as we speak now. And we know as well that women represent over 52% of the population of the continent. Mm. So Africa will never reach its full potential if 52% of its population is actually um, underutilized, put it in that way. And we believe that economic empowerment of women is actually the key to sustainability, is key to um, equality that w we are looking for. It needs women to, to actually take their rightful place on the continent. And we know that women are entrepreneurial. We know the potential of women. From corporate sector, we know that women can improve the bottom line of every corporate that decides to put women at the decision-making position. Yeah. So on the continent, we know that women are the ones that drive families, that they put families families together in their entrepreneurial drive they actually manage to provide for their families to send their families to school so we need to put women at the center of the uh, economic development of the continent without that we're not going to achieve the millennium development goals it's um, it's happening this year this is uh, the, the the year that we're going to do the stock count to see did we reach it and i think as we move toward a uh, sustainable development now post the millennium development goal we're looking at sustainable development we need to focus on on, on on putting women at the center now we mustn't look at you know what can we do for women we need to look at now uh, from the perspective of 
what can we do with women? Women need to be at the decision-making uh, position. Yeah. They know what their needs are. At, at the same at this conference, Africa for Africa um, Women Conference, that's what it's all about. And one thing we need to continue to say is that, you know, as much as we have 54 countries in Africa, we share one land. Yeah. So this conference has actually played a major role in bringing women from different parts of Africa together so we can share best practices, we can share experiences, and we can share our challenges. We actually noticed that we share the same challenges yeah, on indeed. the continent. The big question is who's listening? Because it's wonderful that there's so many influential and powerful women that are gathered here that are talking about the issues that are that 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 have to do with women but who's listening which men are in that room listening that are going to go out there and make a difference and say guys it's time we make a difference because whichever way we look at it the leadership positions are still held by men all over the world that truly I that true but I think we've been privileged to have the premier of Eastern Cape to be with us from the opening mm -hmm. until now we've been privileged to have um, Jacob Zuma, the president of the country, you know, that is the importance that they give to um, to the issue of um, of gender equality. So, uh, and we have a number of men from Eastern Cape that have joined us and even from India and all the other places. It means that there are, as much as we don't see them, there yes. are men that are supporting women in their journey to um, economic liberation or, you know, whatever you call it, um, gender development. Yeah. You know, there are couple of men that are out there and I think our 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 duty as women now it will be very very important to start really uh, uh, creating alliances with those men that Absolutely. we know that they are supporting women because yeah. so that they can take our voices forward I know we have a strong voice already exactly. so we're not saying that we don't have a voice yeah. you know we do have a strong voice already but as we hold hands I said earlier on economic empowerment of women is not something that will happen isolation you know something that you say oh yeah we do this and we're gonna just do that um, you know project for women aside no it will need a concerted effort we need the government the buy-in of government policy policy is very very important Indeed. so and lots of, at policy of partnerships as well policy sorry. levels these are the things that happen madam thank you very much sorry for 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 cutting you a little bit short there but we have to get into a news bulletin now but uh, thank you I think we've got a, a great idea of what it is we need to get economic empowerment to the women of this continent. Let's take a break. When we return, we'll have the news at 7 with Ayanda. Stay tuned.